This is easiest if you first click on something in the world with the console open to target it. You may also use pick ref by id less than ref underscore id greater than to select an object. Get player grabbed ref gives reference id of currently held item. To grab, press and hold e on item and then type command in console. Pick ref by id less than ref underscore id greater than or prid less than ref underscore id greater than same as clicking on a target to select its id. Useful for manually selecting world items, such as player grabbed items, if the mouse cannot select it. Also, execute multiple commands on invisible or unreachable targets. Example. Prid 3 F2 BB. Move to player. Select strong as target, wherever he may be, and then moves him to the player. This works only with cached NPCs. Many are, if not, visiting their cell helps. Pick last ref or PLR. Picks the last spawned ref. Useful for selecting objects spawned via the console without having to click it afterwards. Example. PT34A3F. PLR. Mod angle Z180 will spawn a toilet directly in front of the player. Select the newly created reference and rotate it 180 degrees. Place there less than form id greater than less than count greater than less than distance greater than less than direction greater than or pt less than form id greater than less than count greater than less than distance greater than less than direction greater than spawns an object where the cursor is placed in the direction the player is facing. Very useful for precisely placing objects not usually available in the workshop and allows more control over using player. Place it me. The same rules for spawning weapons that will not work apply here as well. Note. It seems the distance and direction parameters don't affect the way objects are spawned. Please update this if you can get them to work properly. Example. PT34A3F will spawn a toilet directly in front of the player. Disable. Hides the selected reference object. Enable. Shows the selected reference object. Player. Place at me less than form underscore id greater than less than stack amount greater than less than quality greater than spawn a character, creature, item, static object on top of the player. While the console is open, you may also use reference targets, then simply use place at me without a prefix to spawn on top of the target. Stack amount defaults to 1 and can be omitted. Note, if this command is used on a weapon or armor, you will not be able to pick it up. Use player. Add item. If place at me is used without a prefix, the item will be spawned in the vicinity of the player. Example. Player. Place at me to deb will spawn one boss uniform and work properly. Player. Place at me df42e will spawn one combat rifle and will not work properly. Player. Place at me one decibel 4c1 to spawn one deathclaw on top of you. Spawn dupe. Spawn exactly one duplicate of the selected reference. World objects that contain multiples will only duplicate a single item. E.g. a box of shotgun shells containing three shells will only duplicate a box containing one shell. If you spawn a duplicate NPC, it will only duplicate whatever items they had in their inventory originally. E.g. spawn a settler that has different armor or weapon equipped. Also, if you duplicate a settler, they will have to be assigned to a settlement. It is similar to generating a new settler from the console. Warning. Do not spawn duplicate quest targets or unique NPCs, items. This may lead to unforeseen bugs and or game crashes. Warning. Spawning duplicate containers or static objects, or anything that needs to align sensibly with the rest of the world, is problematic, because items spawn at random angles on their X, Y and Z axes, and at different coordinates from the original. The problem of the random angles is solved by using three sets of commands, getangle Z, followed by spondoop, PLR, and then setangle X0, setangle Y0, setangle Z less than good underscore Z underscore angle greater than where, for, less than good underscore Z underscore angle greater than, one enters the number returned by the getangle Z command. Combining the last two command sets is tempting, however not all commands take effect in the order they are issued. Issuing the command sets separately avoids that problem. For some purposes, this result is sufficient, especially given the ease of altering item altitudes using mod pose Z less than offset greater than or set pos Z less than altitude greater than. However, 
If the duplicated item's X and Y coordinates must be changed to align it with another item, usually the original, then knowledge of item dimensions and trigonometry are required. Warning. Spawning a duplicate of a light-emitting item creates a duplicate of the item, but not its glow, the light it is meant to emit. The problem, at least where electric lights using radiant power and settlements are concerned, is eventually solvable through a combination of using workshop mode to move the duplicated, glow-free light next to a light that is already glowing until the duplicated light also starts glowing, then canceling the move to return the duplicated light to its original position. Even so, that may only be enough to turn on a light that was off. It may, or may not, acquire and retain its glow. Subsequently, moving far away from the settlement, Fast traveling to a distant settlement is a good choice, then returning, usually resolves any remaining issues. If not, repeated application of these steps should, eventually, resolve all the issues. Attach mod less than mod underscore id greater than or amod less than mod underscore id greater than adds a mod onto the selected item. To add a mod or remove a mod, you must use the mod's correct form id which will be the omod form type. Here is a list of some of the OMOD types. Armor mods armor legendary effects armor piece variants, such as normal, sturdy, heavy, weapon mods weapon legendary effects remove mod less than mod underscore ID greater than or R mod less than mod underscore ID greater than removes a mod from the selected item. Set scale less than decimal greater than set the scale of an item in game. It's usually required to disable then, enable, the item for the new scaling to fully take place. Warning. Using this command to change your character's size while wearing power armor may cause you to lose all equipped armor and clothing as well as your pit boy, which cannot be recovered by any known means other than loading a previous save. Note. Be careful when using set scale to large numbers like 10. You may seem big and powerful, but a very small drop off, in comparison to your size, will be fatal. Cliffs look very tiny from 50 feet up, but still kill you as if you were normal size. Additionally cells will still only load as if you were normal size, and moving through unspawned cells can crash the game. It is suggested to use the no clip command TCL to prevent falling. Get scale. Prints out the scale of the item in the console. Get pos less than axis greater than prints out the current position of the object along a given axis, x, y, z. Set pos less than axis greater than less than decimal greater than sets the position of the item along a given axis, x, y, z, appears to make some items disappear. Mod pos less than axis greater than less than decimal greater than adjusts the position of the item along a given axis by a given amount. Lock and unlock. Lock, unlock doors, safes, terminals or any other locked container. Other lock states can also be set with special values. Unlock will not work on doors that are locked from the other side. You will first need to press the left mouse button on the item in order to identify what to lock, unlock. Values between lock 1 and lock 100 set the difficulty to that of the locksmith skill. 0 to 25 novice, 26 to 50 advanced, 51 to 75 expert, 76 to 100 master. Lock 0 lock using the previous type of lock it had, or novice if it had none. Lock minus 1 or lock 255, requires key. Lock minus 2 or lock 254, inaccessible. Lock minus 3 or lock 253, requires terminal. Lock minus 4 or lock 252, chained. Lock minus 5 or lock 251, barred. Activate. Activate an item, say a door, that is normally operated by a switch example. PRID 1870D2, activate player manually triggers the UFO flyby scene for the player. Use with caution. Mark for delete. Similar to disable, will delete any item from the game, removing it permanently. It may disappear immediately, or it may require you to exit and re-enter the area. Warning. This console command can remove important parts of the map, NPCs or even the player. Use with extreme caution. Set open state less than int greater than similar to activate but will open and close it without the player having to use it. Set open state 0 closed. Set open state 2 open. Set ownership. Make the item yours. For instance, a cabinet or a bed. Set angle less than axis greater than less than degrees greater than rotate, level an object, typically one that was placed with place at me.
on the x, y, and z axis. Commonly used after placing a power armor frame before attempting to enter the frame, so that the player doesn't freeze a bug by clicking on the frame and setting the x and y axis angle values to zero. Get angle less than axis greater than get rotation angle of an object on the x, y, or z axis. Prints the angle degrees on the console. Useful to align building items with other building items, usually with the Z axis, when preparing to use Satangle. Mod angle less than axis greater than less than degrees greater than adjusts the angle of the item along a given axis by a given amount. Player. Move to less than ref underscore id greater than move the player to an object. Set less than global greater than to less than value greater than sets the given global to a specified value. For example, to enable ballistic weave, Use set railroad clothing armor mod available to 1. Set timescale to less than scale greater than sets the timescale, the ratio determining how fast game time moves relative to real time. Set timescale to 20 to 20 seconds pass in game for every second in real time, default setting. Set timescale to 1 1 second passes in game for every second in real time. Set timescale to 0 stops time of day. Show timescale used without parameters returns the current timescale setting, doesn't always work. Warning. Altering the timescale will cause the game to crash if NPCs spawned using place leveled actor at me or move to player enter into combat. Note. A timescale of zero will prevent actors to cross cell borders. Note. Reducing the game timescale reduces fast travel time as well. Set game hour to less than time greater than sets the game hour to the entered value. Change applies only when player unpauses the game. Before making any changes to the game hour, using get current time or show game hour might be useful. Set game day to less than day greater than sets the current day of the current month. Set game day to 1 would set it to the first of the month. Avoid 31 as this will corrupt your game if the month lacks a 31st day. Use show game day to find the current day of the month. Set game year to less than year greater than example. Set game year to 2289. Don't go before 2287, or you risk corrupting your game. F diff mult legendary chance underscore less than difficulty string greater than you can temporarily increase the chance of legendary enemies through the console, which does not affect the difficulty. F diff mult legendary chance underscore ve. Very easy f diff mult legendary chance underscore e. Easy f diff mult legendary chance underscore n. Normal f diff mult legendary chance underscore h. Hard f diff mult legendary chance underscore vh. Very hard f diff mult legendary chance underscore sv. Survival chance of legendary enemies. Force weather less than weather id greater than or fw less than weather id greater than instantly changes the weather. Set weather less than weather ID greater than or SW less than weather ID greater than sets the weather to change gradually.